Welcome to the live, everybody. Thank you, thank you for joining us. We, <coughs> our, we are prepping for Indianapolis Regionals. So, basically, uh, in March, I will be registering for e a uh, regional Pokemon VGC tournament for regulation, I believe it's called F. Um, basically means uh, I will be, it's open to everybody. Um, this is my first foray, if you will, into competitive Pokemon. Uh, for those of you who are new to the stream or watching this on VOD and are interested in what we're rocking with here, um, let me move my team around so you can see it a little bit better. So, um, actually missing one. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, we have Chi and Pao. Uh, he needs his <laughs> HP EVs reset because I'm a ninny. Uh, but we've got, uh, the boy Pao Pao. Uh, he's almost level 100. Um, his, as you can see, his attack is max. We need to get that HP EV down though. Kind of sucks, but, um, I made a mistake and read my EV listings wrong. I've now made a sheet so that I can keep track of my EVs a little bit better. <clears throat> and by EVs, I mean effort values, not to the Pokemon, uh, for those of you who are new to VGC. Um, basically, to be competitive in Pokemon, you really have to min-max, which is a common term in a lot of games from even like tabletops from Dungeons and Dragons to games like Baldur's Gate or uh, uh, League of Legends, Smite, really any video game, really it's just the notion of squeezing out every little optimization of your build or your character, your Pokemon in this case, whatever, so that they perform at their best and their most efficient. So you basically try to trim away the fat and leave it just lean and tough. So for example, Chi and Pao doesn't need HP, it needs attack and it needs to be fast. That's pretty much it. So anything else, special attack is a big no-no. Um, that's handled by um, a few different factors, right? So the stat graph that you see over here to my left, right, my right as you're watching, is controlled by nature's, something called um, intrinsic values, I believe, which is IVs, and then effort values, which is EVs. So first off, <clears throat> each Pokemon has a base set of stats. So Chi and Pao, every Chi and Pao you get will have a base set of stats. Now, Every Chi and Pao is going to be a little different in two different ways. One is nature. So in this case of Pao Pao, uh, he was not originally the nature that I gave him, which I believe is Jolly or Adamant, by using a mint, an item in the game. He was timid, which uh, wasn't the ideal one. So his stat graph that you see here was a little bit different. So we want super high attack, as you can see that 336, and we want that speed. So I changed his nature so that attack goes up and special attack goes down because we don't need special attack. So it's kind of a glass cannon. He hits hard, but he gets hit hard. And <clears throat> that nature basically determines which stat naturally is higher and which stat is naturally lower. So it picks one stat to go up, one stat to go down, and each Pokemon that you catch will give a random nature. So there's items in the game to kind of just naturally change which nature you want to give to that Pokemon to, again, kind of start that efficiency, that min-maxing process. The other thing that you do um, is you worry about intrinsic values, which is basically the genetics of the Pokemon, right? So each Pokemon uh, kind of randomly gets set a, a plus of 0 to, I believe, 31 of each stat. So, for example, Chi and Pao could have had a plus 10 to HP, a plus 20 to attack, a plus 5 to defense, a plus 4 to speed, a plus 13 to special defense, and a plus 20 to special attack. Now, your ideal Pokemon, you can have plus 31 in each and every area, which is what most competitive players go for, just <clears throat> because even that one stat that you don't really want, it's just nice to have a Pokemon that's the best that it can be. So, a perfect IV Pokemon is what you're shooting for. So plus 31, I think it is, is the cap in each and every stat, each of those six. 
Now what we're doing today is effort values. So those are stats that you can change a couple different ways, right? So there's berries to remove effort values. So as you train your Pokemon, each Pokemon that you battle, after the battle, it'll do a plus one to whatever, maybe three, five, ten. Uh, 252 maximum and then there's uh, something close to like 550 to 600 um, total effort value points that you can get in a Pokemon. Now that determines your EV spread. Once your Pokemon's been trained a long time, uh, it looks like you have 252 plus 252 which is 504 plus 4 so you can have a max of 508. Uh, so I, I take back what I said before. So 508 points to spread across six values now <clears throat> the max is 252 so naturally for chi and pao he already has a max of 252 which is why the attack graph uh leg right there is just so high uh speed needs to go up as well i've been working on speed as you can see it's not quite maxed out yet <clears throat> now again that can have it a few different ways attacking pokemon and winning battles against i believe wild pokemon specifically as you go through the game uh, the other portion of it could be vitamins. So if you remember from the old games too, there was like vitamins called Carbos, Zinc, HP Up, uh, a few other ones like that. Those add a plus 10 to whichever stat is assigned to it. So for example, I believe Carbos is speed. So every time I give it a speed, uh, a Carbos, its speed will go up by 10 effort value points. Okay, so up to a max 252 so obviously there'll be a little bit of waste once you get to 20 that 26 carbos you're losing that eight effort value but most people don't care they just grind money like i've been doing they buy the vitamins and then they do it now where it gets tricky is if you've had pokemon like me that you trained a little bit on accident and you're looking to reset those stats there's some berries that'll reset your effort values down pardon me that makes it a lot easier to kind of get those EVs to where you want them to get because then you can kind of start with a fresh a fresh uh, set of EVs. So that's kind of what we're working on. We're trying to erase the EVs that we don't want. We're trying to maximize the EVs that we do want. Now there's not a really great way to do it from the middle besides just wiping everything. And so I'm kind of working on wiping everything on top of like, hey, everybody needs, you know, there's like three Pokemon, Urshifu, Dragonite and Chi and Pao that need max attack. So I'm going to be going through with the three of them in my party. I'm going to be combining vitamins with wild Pokemon encounters to maximize those attacks. And then I have uh, Whimsicott, Urshifu, and Chi and Pao that need max speed. So I'm going to keep track. I'll probably take every Pokemon in my party because all of them need at least a little bit of speed. I'll attack certain Pokemon that give you speed effort values in the wild. And then eventually I'll stop once <clears throat> I hit certain values for like Chi and Pao once I get 252 or once <clears throat> uh, Goldango gets 116, I'm going to pull him out of my party so that he doesn't mess up like his special attack or his defense EVs, <clears throat> so on and so forth. So that's kind of a, a base overview of how you set up your Pokemon for... Um, for VGC tournaments, competitive play. Now there's a really cool site, um, there's a couple. So if you're doing the current format that I am, Peakalytics, I was told by another streamer that I follow, is a great, um, her name is Princess Diana. If you go to Peakalytics, that's more geared towards twos, and Smogon University is more geared toward 1v1 Pokemon battles. So I started with Smogon, I got corrected by Diana, and now I went to Pokelytics, so now we're kind of like edit re-editing our team, going back a little bit. So with that being said, um, we're about ready to hop into it. And the last thing really is, uh, really for that, you, for VGC2, I've already got my abilities handled. I've got my, uh, what do you want to call it, um, items taken care of i've got the natures all taken care of i've got the ivs all maxed out which was not really as much of a pain in the rear end as you would think really you just kind of grind the academy ace tournament and scarlet and violet i'm on violet personally you go through there you have an amulet coin which you get from one of the guys in the suits on one of the routes after you beat a certain amount of trainers in that area 
I don't remember which one it is, but it's available online. You get the amulet coin, you give it to your lead Pokemon, you can swap it out immediately, you don't really have to do anything with it. <clears throat> and then you basically double your money and your earnings at the end of that battle. And then you use that money to buy your berries at auction, your vitamins, or whatever else. Um, I did try Ogre Bustin, I think, which is the minigame, and Kitakami, which is part of the Indigo Disc DLC, which runs about 35 bucks. Uh, doing it by myself, I wasn't able to get the reset mochis that I wanted because that'll wipe all of your EVs clean. I did get three of them from going through the DLC, but that's only like half a team, so I need to reset the effort values for four more Pokemon. So I'm going to be doing a combination of getting berries, uh, buying vitamins, um, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, with that. Uh, that's kind of the team. So we've got, uh, let's see, let's start from the top. We got Cinderor. He's probably going to be one of our leads. We, I think we still need to EV train him quite a bit. Um, I think he was wiped though. So I think we can just kind of start fresh. Dragonite, um, again, I think he was partially EV trained. I'm going to have to check because his HP and attack are high, which is what we want. Um, but we have Incineroar with Knockoff, Flare Blitz, Fake Out, Parting Shot with Blaze, and his held item is uh, currently an Assault Vest, but <coughs> excuse me, we're going to be changing that going forward. So that will be a little bit easier to manage. Um, we have Dragonite. Right now he's got a Dragon Fang just because certain items that you can give them for VGC come back after the battle when you do it in the wild they don't come back like a focus sash is a good example of that so we've got a dragon knight with uh currently a dragon thing just to make him a little stronger when we're out ev training um he's got i believe an adamant nature outrage extreme cv stopping tantrum aerial ace you could go i think aqua jet instead of aerial ace um, and then inner focus is really nice because if you have a pokemon you're going up to uh, or up against, excuse me, with, for example, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Intimidate. If you're going up against something that has Intimidate, you, um, let's see. Sorry, I'm checking uh, chat really quick here. Apologize. Let's see. Reconnecting. I got this new chat tool too that I'm really trying to make sure that I'm using to be able to look at my chats a little bit easier. Connected all as well. Okay. So I want to make sure that I can check your chats if you're chatting with me. So, alrighty. Moving back to Dragonite. Inner Focus. So, yeah, Intimidate. Uh, inner Focus really counters Intimidate. So it doesn't um, lower its attack, which is perfect for Dragonite, which has, I believe these are all physical moves. Um, Yep, physical, 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 physical. So he's kind of what you consider like a sweeper. So think of the sweeper like when you're a kid and if it wasn't a damaging move, you just weren't about it. So like leer, tail whip, uh, some of those more support utility moves that you're like, it doesn't do damage. I don't want this. Um, those are important. Uh, thank you for following, Mandy. Uh, those are really important for VGC because for example you have Incineroar with knockoff to handle items you have fake out to make something's flinch if you want to move him out and you're like I just don't like this matchup at all you can then move him out and parting shot will also lower as you can see here the targets attack and special attack stats so then you can switch it out you can also hurt the other Pokemon's that you're facing uh, attack and special attack values, which again, if you're facing another sweeper, that's a super big move. So a lot of people I've seen are running Incineroar to start out with. Dragonite would be paired with somebody like him because Incineroar can help prevent the amount of damage that they could do on like a Dragonite, right? So people run that together. We've got Ogre Pond. I don't have a good nickname for them yet, so I'm open to suggestions. Uh, Ivy Crudgel, or sorry, Ivy Cudgel, which will turn water because it has a Wellspring mask. You can do a Wellspring, a Cornerstone, or a Hearth Flame mask 
to make it water, fire, or stone, depending on the mask it's wearing. We're running a wellspring, so it'll have water absorb. So if it gets hit by water, which is a good switch in opportunity, its HP will be restored instead of taking any damage. Uh, Follow Me is another one of those good support uh, uh, utility moves that you didn't really use when you were a kid growing up because it didn't do damage, but it'll basically take the attention off of your other Pokemon. So a good setup for this would be if you used a spiky shield and then uh, spiky shield will kind of absorb the hit and damage the other Pokemon. So you, what you could do is you could do a follow me so that Pokemon will attack him and then follow that up with spiky shield so then they get hurt and your other Pokemon safe. And then you can horn leech try to get that HP back up and then you have a Ivy Crudgel either grass or water to kind of you know counter the other Pokemon. So that's a really useful, a lot of people are running Ogre Pond right now. Uh, new Pokemon with the Indigo Disc DLC, which is pretty fun. Um, I've, I enjoyed the little storyline for him. Um, now we have Urshifu. This was a Pokemon that took me a while to get because you have to do Blueberry quests in the DLC. You have to talk to Snacksworth, who will give you like a treat. Then you could go to a specific area by the waterfalls, and then you'll find a Cubfu. Then you have to go to the auction people, which I think they made it easier to do and get the water scroll to make it a multi strike Urshifu with water moves versus a single strike with dark moves. So we went multi strike. <clears throat> So U-turn, kind of like Parting Shot, except it does damage. So if you don't like the matchup or you're just trying to like get out of there really fast, great move for that. Surging Strikes will go past with Unseen Fist. Protects Spiky Shields, so great counter to those like Ogre Ponds. The, anything with Protect, tons of Pokemon run Protect in BGC now. Um, close Combat just as a just heavy hitter move. Aqua Jet, so again, another Sweeper just with a different set of moves different counters than Dragonite. So that's why I really liked him. Goldango, <clears throat> don't have a good name for him is, is good yet. I mean, Goldie is kind of cliche, so I want to think of something a little bit more creative. Uh, for him, I had to grind out 999 Gimmagool coins throughout the, there's chests and roaming Gimmagools. The chests, definitely just look up a map, go for the chests. Heavy, heavy, heavy recommend that because Gimmagool coin, roaming ones will only give you like one to five. The chest could give you like two to 300 a pop so within a, like an hour i got all 999 so it, it's really not as bad as it seems if you go for the chests but another example of like urshifu would counter the protect goldango because of unseen fist's ability uh but really it's trying to set up nasty plot so it would go out with like an ogre pond or something try to get nasty plot and then you would run a make it rain try to hit him hard with your new special attack from the nasty plot or a Shadow Ball, depending on the matchup. <clears throat> so, really like Odengo, and then also, um, it can't get immunity uh, moves against it because of Goodness Gold. So, any Intimidate, any kind of uh, stat, uh, negative stat increase will not affect Odengo, which is great. Love that about him. Um, Whimsicott. Right now, Whimsicott... Uh, I believe this is a female Whimsicott. Male. He is not in my party right now. Uh, reason being is because I have Incineroar and I have Ogre Pond. I don't, I don't know that I have a spot for Whimsicott right now uh, versus like Urshifu or Gold uh, Dango. Chi and Pao. Like, I, I think I have just enough utility and I want to still be able to put out good damage. But really, she could move or he could move in because Tailwind is a very common move you're going to see in VGC and competitive. Boost the speed of your Pokemon to really outspeed the other Pokemon. So if you have a Sweeper and want it to be faster than their heavy hitter, Tailwind from Whimsicott would help a Chien Pao, a Dragonite, uh, Urshifu be faster than its opponent. So you'll see a lot of times a Whimsicott with something that hits really, really, really hard. But again, a lot of support moves, Tailwind, Protect, Encore for the other team to, if it's doing a move that's not effective, you're going to keep doing that. Or you protected, I'm going to make you keep doing that so it fails, and then I can just smack you. Um, Moonblast for, you know, your ghosts, your, you know, type advantages, just so it has a little bit of attacking power, because you don't want it to have nothing. Um, 
And again, it's kind of nice because it'll go through reflect, light screen, and whatever with the infiltrator. So that's kind of a nice thing. Um, I think we went over pow pow. Basically just attack, attack, attack. Sucker punch that priority move to attack first no matter what really. Unless somebody else is using a priority move that's faster. Uh, but really, I think Sucker Punch, as long as they're readying an attack, will always go first over like ex speed stream, ex extreme speed, uh, quick attack, so on and so forth. Sacred Sword, I think, is pretty unique to Chi and Pao based on what's regulated uh, the banned versus unbanned Pokemon. Um, also, I just remember there's one more thing I have to do before I can actually go through and practice like I would for the VGC Terra typing, but that's another conversation. Um, so attack, attack, attack. Um, so that's kind of the team right now. <clears throat> um, so there's seven. So again, I'm probably running, you could probably run these six right here. Uh, it's in a road Dragonite, Urshifu, and then these two. So really, this is almost kind of like the openings that I would run. It would be an Incineroar Dragonite, or an Ogre Pond Urshifu, or a Gold Dango Chien Pao. Uh, so, and you'll notice actually like almost half of them have protect right huge 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 move in vgc to try to throw off your opponent and try to keep something from dying um so right now just to avoid that when i was grinding i do have the new uh pekka runt i believe is how you pronounce that name pretty fun ghost poison type it's the first one we've seen i think since gengar i was told uh Maradon, just because it's a good electric dragon it's good typing good moves um really good sweeper uh, I wish I could change this ability, though. Um, Noivern. I just enjoyed Noivern from back in the anime. Uh, I got the Mightiest Mark Charizard uh, from the raid. Um, actually got a Charizard pose from somebody in the DLC because I had a Mightiest Mark Charizard from the Terra raid a while ago. I love Palmot. He's really cute. And then Tinkatung is a boss. Um, great typing, great moveset. Um, so you'll notice a lot of sweeping because I really don't care about <clears throat> setting up in ones against the Academy Ace tournament. I just want to smack them and get out. So that's why you see that. Uh, Charizard's nature is not great, but I'm not too worried about it for that. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So um, this is for Chi and Pow to remind me. So we're going to get into doing a few things here and we're gonna actually that's enough ex explanation um, so I just finished a couple Academy Ace tournaments so I should have plenty of vitamins I can buy and I'm gonna check the auction for today and see what I could do for um, uh, let's see um, resetting stats quick so, I want to go to Chance. So there's Deli Bird, which will give you like battle caps for IV training for 20k a piece, or um, you get a lot of held items for EV training there. I'm looking for chassis supply. You can tell what it looks like like this, and then I could go in here, and buy whatever IV training or sorry, excuse me, EV training stuff I would like. Um, also, just want a quick shout out, uh, Mandy. If you're still here, you are probably the first follower that I've ever had that is not somebody that I know in real life. So I want to thank you very much for that. Uh, kind of a momentous occasion. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let's see. Here's the mints too that I was talking about before. These are 20k a pop, which is kind of expensive. So that's why I'm like not really concerned about Charizard right now because I'd rather get two of these. Um, let's see. Oh, I got some LP too. Sweet. Okay. Um, I don't have any proteins and I need, I need a lot of speed. So I think I'm just going to buy, I have a lot of carbos, but that's only 150. We're just going to buy, going to buy tons of carbos. So let's just... Is that what I want to do? No, I want to EV train, I think. So, or... See, these would be good for, like, D100 for Incineroar. Yeah, let's do that instead. 
We'll buy it for the things that don't need to be maxed out. And then I'll just check mark it on my little list. See, once we think a little bit, we can do great things. So we need 10, so we need 8 for Incineroar's defense. So, <laughs> recommended dosage. You know, we're just giving our Pokemon steroids. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Uh, <clears throat> there was a guy at the hockey game I went to locally last night. They did the little, uh, they did a flex cam. Dude pulls off his jacket, and the dude is just absolutely jacked. And the PA announcer is like, if I looked like that, I would never wear a t-shirt again. <laughs> It was amazing. The dude was ripped. Anyway, this just made me think about this because of uh, because of that last night. So we need, so we have 13. So I need 14 for Godango. I don't know how I mix. Oh, this is special attack. No, 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 no. Defense. So I need 14 exactly for Godango. So I'm gonna do that. So now I have Goldengo and Incineroar's defense EVs taken care of once I know they're reset. Uh, where else can we... Really, it's just getting these some of these... Uh, getting some of these maxed ones out of the way, actually. Let's do... Everybody needs speed. So let's just buy out the rest of it with speed. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, that'll have to do. So we have 38 Carbos. So let's just say that takes care of Chi and Pow. Needs to. And that leaves us 14. So that's Goldengo for 11. And then that leaves me just like a, a couple random ones like Incineroar. So really, that took care of a lot of speed, which is nice. It took care of three Pokemon's speed and two Pokemon's defense. So we're playing bingo here on my little notepad. We don't have any protein in that. It's unfortunate. All right. Let's see what Kiskara, Kiskarafa, Kis. Or no, port, uh, the port, uh, where is it? Porto Marinda. Puerto Marinda. That's where we're gonna go. So yeah, this is one of those traders I was talking about where if you fight enough of them, you'll get the amulet coin. Um, another one, and they'll give you a price. I got another focus sash. Heck yeah. Uh, just in case I use one. They're expensive. So that's what I mean. He, one of those guys gave me an amulet coin. Another one gave me stopping tantrum, which was important for Dragonite. And I think a couple other Pokemon used uh, stopping tantrum. Because I think now, because of the move, I'll show you really quick. Because of the way that the move works, or used to work in the past, I believe somebody said that protect counts as a miss now. So if you look at the move, uh, moves powers doubled if the user's previous move failed. So it doesn't mean necessarily, like it could include misses, it can include protects, spiky shields now. So that goes up to 150 base power on a ground type move if somebody protects and then you run it again. Which is why a lot of people like Dragonite for that reason, is because he can counter ice types like that that would also hurt him. So, anyway, so that's how you can get one of those as well. Because I was looking everywhere for that TM, and then somebody was like, online, was like, hey, there's one. I'm like, oh, okay. 
a lot easier than what I thought. Cause I'm like going through the TM move machine. I'm like, where is it? And then uh, I was looking through the learn stats. I was trying to remember the moves. And it's like, no, you can't do that. And it's like, what? tomato berries. I think we need those. I could probably sell stuff to get enough money for that. Let me see what it does. Because I favorited, and I recommend you do this too for IV and EV training, favorited all the items that either remove or add to EVs. Chromo Friday lose speed to base points, which is nice to reset, so I kind of want to get those. So, let me go back to that. Also, if you haven't done the Indigo Disc DLC, it will uh, allow you to just continually fly with Moradon or, uh, it's not, it's a Cyclozar? Whatever the evolution of that thing is right there. I forgot what it's called. Uh, but the equivalent to Moradon and Scarlet. Glad I got, so, like, a nugget. Yeah, I got a few nuggets from the tournament, so that's good. Ooh, I got some star pieces. I need to look up what to do with the rest of these, because I feel like I don't want to sell these, but they're also kind of worth stuff, like the ball mushrooms. Oh, that actually just gets sold. Okay. Yeah, like if it says to like just sell, I'm just gonna whatever. Pretty feathers. I mean, if if I can't do anything with pretty feather feathers, I have a lot of money sitting there. So. Rain out in this auction. Old man doesn't know what he's coming in for. Fifty-four haunted. Sixty now. Ooh, ooh. They're going crazy. Ninety-four hundred. Oh, holy cow. Okay. Thirteen-four. I'm starting to get a little bit. Ooh, this is gonna cost about half my money now. I just got this money. It's like when you get your allowance and you immediately go out and buy a pack of cars when you're a kid. And you're like, well, I'm broke again. Oh my gosh, stop. Do they know how much I have? Old man's gonna make me broke. Okay. Alright, there we go. Wow, 27,000 and started at 4.9. That is insane. Like, is this a first gen chart or base at one Charizard or what? Come on. Uh, what else we got? So, dive balls, zinks. 27 zinks? That's way too much for zinks when you could just buy them for 10k. What? Right? No, that's a good deal. I'll come back. Do you actually sell stuff? Okay. I was kind of hoping for like mochis, but whatever. All right. So what we're gonna do? Let's do this. Let's, let's pull the team in. Let's pull one in. So this will be the no EV team, or at least doesn't matter. So the under VGC team on the left. No VGC on the right. I'm moving them so that you guys can see there. You are banished, Whimsicott. All right. Um. Start with the Cineroar. 
So let's go to our berries. He's supposed to hold a citrus berry, which is why I have that favorited. So I can get back to it later. So, I mean, it needs four attacks. So let's just see. Can't go any lower. That means he might be, he might be clear. He should be. So he's done. Wiped, that is. So first we're gonna make sure everybody's wiped. So let's go to D Knight next. Give him to reset. Actually, let's just pull everybody else in that needs it. Just so that we know who's wiped and who's not. I'm not really worried about Whimsy yet. If I'm gonna pull Whimsicott in to VGC, then I'll worry about her. Him. I'm saying her. Mmm, I don't remember if I gave this does it not need because that'll tell me it doesn't need special attack because that'll tell me if it's wiped. he is wiped okay because there's three pokemon i gave reset mochis to like i said and dragonite was one of them okay <clears throat> that makes it easy then so what do i have more of tomato berries So he needs to be wiped. He needs to be wiped. Goldango was the third. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> so one of them needs like... Yeah, Urshifu needs max speed though, so I'm not going to keep using that on him. Because I'm s sometimes smart. Uh... I already have, yeah, I already have, yeah, I mean, we have a utility for it, so. <clears throat> math. Why is math not mathing right now? Chien Pao. He needs his HP reset, so let's just do that quick, get him out of the way. I was like, I'm missing a Pow Pow. So let's not take care of him right now because we don't have the berries that we need, which is unfortunate. So let's focus on wiping Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond. Let's just wipe its defense because it needs zero defense. So let's just do that. So let's give it like four. Can't go any lower. Okay, so defense for Ogre Pond, done. Excellente. Ah. Also, if anybody has any questions about VGC, the comp scene, why I picked my team, anything like that, just feel free to pop it in the chat and I'll be more than happy to kind of go over my thought process for everything. No, 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 no. Can't go Aylor. Urshifu's defense done. Yeah. And then, oh, I need to make some notes. That's right. Un memento, friends. Let's see. So, done. A reset, D night. So, in big bold, reset. Goldengo. Big letters. Reset. It's in order. Big letters. Reset. <clears throat> okay. So she and Pal is like 
close to actually being done then, because we bought enough carbos for the speed. Yeah, I like that. All right, cool. Okay, back to berries. So let's just do attack. Oh, both of them need attack, so why would we do that? No, special attack. Uh, neither of them need special attack. Correct. Especially Ogre Pond. Yeah, both, both of them. Urshifu's special attack is good. Okay, how about Ogre Pond? Okay, so Ogre Pond needs, like, all of these. Can't go any lower. Oh, it knows. Oh, hey, we learned something. It won't let you give it more than what um than what it can go down. Okay, makes sense. I love that actually. So that means Incineroar's special attack is done. That means that Ogre Pond's Ogre Pond is not special reset. It was Gold Dango. Okay, so that means so special attack. Yeah, Ogre Pond's is done now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just special attack. Special defense. And... They just made me waste those. Am I wrong now? Either way, done. I don't. That's fine. Uh, speed stat. I mean, that. Why did I. Mm, I'm regretting buying those tomato berries now because I would have rather got those zinks there's really not many pokemon that need their speed reset they need more speed i mean dragonite's already reset though incense already reset chi and pow already has all this it just needs back speed everything else needs back speed ogre pod would really be the only one so let's just reset it he just needs it. okay Maybe actually it did need all of those, and that's just how many it needed. Maybe I just got lucky. <clears throat> okay. Cool beans. So. So let's get. HP. So I need Urshifu's HP to be zero now. What kind of berry do I need for that? Can you buy berries? Yeah, I need to not get ahead of myself. I need to reset everything first. Everything that's a zero especially needs to be reset. Why is thinking so hard right now? I just need to now just go one Pokemon at a time. So let's just take out. Let's just let's just do Ogre Pond. Let's just get him done. So he needs. got enough for two of them. Doesn't need special attack. Special defense doesn't need it. So I don't even have enough of the things that I need. Who needs defense? Incineroar. So who's... Okay, no, no, no. Who's reset? Let's start with reset. So Urshifu and Ogre Pond are... Let's just do Incineroar. They're in process. Okay, cool. So, go 
your bag. Please don't laugh at me. I'm still... Still getting used to this. Okay. So I'm center row's defense. Done. Attack, it just sees four. I don't have anything for HP or attack. So now... Oh, do I have special defense stuff? I do. I only have four. That's okay. Oh, they're selling zincs. Okay. So I need to look up two things really quick. First thing is can you buy berries? Can you buy berries in Violet? Bid, travel area zero, go to pond area. Oh, okay. Find the guy in the black sando tank top at Por Porto Marianda. We'll be auctioning random things, including berries. Explore Paldea. Okay. And then next question is, do trainer battles give EVs? It knew what I wanted to find out. Yes, the Pokemon gain EVs for every Pokemon they defeat in battle, whether it's a wild or a trainer. Okay, so I did the right thing. I think I did the right thing, then, by keeping them out. Every Pokemon. Doesn't matter. Got it. Okay. So that answered my question. So, uh... Now I think definitely, um... <clears throat> um, I need to figure so let's just start out with uh, let's do HP so <clears throat> excuse me uh, attack, defense, special attack special defense, speed, HP so that'll give it plus 10 to each uh, um, for each thing killed. Plus 10. Food for encounter power. I don't care about that. Give you your spirit. I get it. Oh, every hour or so it changes. Okay. Checking your EVs. Exactly how many. We can get a rough idea. You can see if you can max it out or reach the cap of. Oh, okay. Oh, there's an EV mode. Oh my lordy. Okay, this site, Maryland, it M A R R I L A N D. If you have, if you're EV training a Pokemon, look what I just learned. I never noticed. Those are the EVs I have done. So, if we go to Ragnite, reset, reset, we could go to who we're really curious about, oops, didn't mean to do that, uh, Chien Pao, we can see we need to take out some HP. Oops. And then Chi and pa or these two, we could check what we still need to remove. So, yeah, he needs special defense gone. Mostly. And probably some special attack. Really, I just need to, like, wipe his other two. He needs a special defense wiped and his HP wiped. Which is what I thought. Now, uh, Mr. Ogrepan 
should only need speed, some attack, which we gave him a, a, a ton of... Oh, he has a ton of attack. Okay, so we need to fix that. Because he only needs 76. And then we need to give him a ton of HP. So, there we go. That's basically where we're at. There we go. No! Okay, that doesn't matter, though. Also, I thought... Oh, you could just nickname him right there. I don't want to do that right now, though. Sign a ribbon or a mark. How they a champion! Sweet. <laughs> oh. <coughs> That's interesting. I'm curious now of like what all ones I have. I mean, I'm gonna assign remarks to anybody who has it just because it's fun. So we got Paldeo Champion. I could have just held over, but that's fine. That's fine. Alrighty then. Okay, so we're back to Incineroar. Uh. Oh! Oh, the graph turned light blue when you're at max EVs. Ah, so, good way to see that we've maxed out attack is if you go to Chien Pao, attack's not sparkling because it's not maxed. But if we go to... We don't have anybody who's maxed, so we can't see right now. Okay. There. But it's good to sparkle when it's max, which that makes it really nice to know for sure. Oh, you could get EVs. Speak with the lady with the Luxio and Levencia. Levin Le Levince Levincia. <clears throat> Effort ribbon. Now the fun part. Okay. <clears throat> Quick recommendation. So HP. Uh, I know where to find chances. South of Lavenza. That seems better. Hmm. So South Province Area One. So we need to go... Let's find some Azumarils. It's supposed to be... Bridge north of the lighthouse. I'm picking up every berry. Oh, you don't want to fight me. Kid. Ah. 
So... <coughs> Nine EVs with a power wave. Okay. So... We need... So we killed one. Let's just do it that way. So we'll just do a tally. So one. One down! We hit the jackpot, baby. Zoomerals everywhere. Everywhere. That's four. This will be five. So that's already forty-five base HP. The tough part really is going to be um, uh, uh, Oh, I can count by the stuff and lose how many I kill. Duh. <coughs> this is still more foolproof though. Because I might use like the mixer or something. Oh, it tells me how many I need anyway. So I need 28. Okay. I think they're super cute, though. Zoomerol might be like one of the berries. It's just a boss, man, you know? Are there any up here? That was. Was that 10? like halfway there already. Cool. Cool. Max are bad nice. Okay, so no. Well, let's see. Maybe by the time. Oh, this is a different province there. How much I like that boss stuff?
so that's ten. So we are almost halfway. It's not too bad. Yeah, I sold a lot of them. But I think that's okay because I can just use it. Um, yeah, I can use knockoff for the rest. Where are you, Zumaro? Here you are. <clears throat> they kind of blend in with the flowers. It's not very effective, but when there's a 74 level difference, I don't know that it really matters all that much. Sweating, he's like, He's coming for me! Get up, run! It's Zeror's coming to ruin me! <clears throat> he's coming for my HP! Big cat go grr! Get over here! I feel like I did that pretty good. <laughs> Eventually, one thing I want to do on stream is not like hardcore, but like shiny hunt a little bit like popular Pokemon, right? So like a Pikachu. And then I want to say like, <clears throat> you know, we'll do a giveaway, a follower giveaway that once we get a goal, I will randomly select one of the new followers for, <clears throat> uh, for the shiny Pikachu. And then I'll just give, gift it to you. You can give me just whatever run-of-the-mill Pokemon you want. I'll try to do, you know, I might even do a request depending on how it is to shiny hunt. Do a barrel roll. I think that would be a great game. So like once we hit uh, a certain amount, I'll do like or like a dry, shiny Dratini, like popular even like Gen One Pokemon. I might keep a um, for myself for my Dragonite competitive. I just want to make sure I have time to practice before I start shiny hunting. That's the biggest thing because like I'd love to get like lit and shiny. Uh, I highly doubt anybody's going to have a shiny Ogre Pond or a Champau because they're legendaries and you only encounter them once. I don't even know if there's such thing. But, like, Litten, Dragonite, Whimsicott, uh, who else am I thinking about? Uh, 
Why am I not thinking right now? Kubfu or uh, Gimme Ghoul. <clears throat> I would do any of those. Uh, eventually, I'll try to get like all those shiny, and then my team at VGC will be shiny. Because this, I don't plan on this being the first. Uh, VGC that I do for um, uh, <laughs> know what I'm thinking right now, and I don't can't stop it. Two thirty-six. Need some math here. I think I'm almost done. I think I need to calm down, so that's... So I've done 12 plus 10, so I've done 22. That's 45, 90, 135, 180, plus 2 is 18, so I'm at 198. I need 236 so I can get so I need math so that's uh, 38 which is Um, four, five. So I need five plus two, no band. Okay. <clears throat> So one, two, three, two more after these. <laughs> that poor Azumarill. It's like, I'm next! Oh no! I'm next! I need two more with band. Training in I'm going to hop off for at least um, uh, at least a few hours. Probably get back on tonight at about 8 o'clock or so. Okay, so if my math is right, he's done. I need special defense. So, okay, so I'm not quite done, but 
Give it based on how hard it might be to get special defense. I'll probably get speed done really quick. I do need to attack too. Okay, so he should be done. So no more HP. So done. Big ol' check mark. So attack. Uh shakes. Not too far away from where I am. Shinks or Young Goose.
Actually, I want to do my two speed first. Pokemon Revolution is still in your free time? Oh, that is unfortunate. <sighs> Welcome in. You're catching close to the end of it. Um, the end of the stream, but... Uh, we're trying to finish up Incineroar's EVP training, which... Um, if you go back to the bot, I get a whole fun dive into what I'm doing here. I'm uh, spending my life, but... Yeah, no. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, Pokemon Revolution was pretty fun last night, though, I will say. I enjoyed it. Um, oh, there was something I was going to tell you specifically. I don't remember now, though, what it was. Although I'm glad my new chat app is working, because now I can see YouTube and Twitch without having to, like, switch tabs. So thank you for chatting in YouTube, because... Now I have a Twitch chat and a YouTube chat in the same little panel right below my um, my stream, so it's way easier to keep track of chat that way. So, I love that. Alright. <clears throat> I need butchinders. They should not be hard to find. Trees, go to the trees. Go to the trees! Oh, not the... Not this guy. <clears throat> LeChonk! Nice. Yeah, I know. Um, I, mean, I still might move over to OBS Studio like we had talked about, but... Uh, right now, Slobs... Uh, because really, this is just a link that goes to a site called uh, Sheep Chat. Well, not a site, but it's like an app, but it hosts something on an HTTP server where I can see all my chat, and then I just um, pop in that URL, and then I can see my chat in my little studio, which is great. Yes, we're pull we pull out all on the mistakes here. We ain't no wussies. Dude! Lachinder, where are you? Also, um, I know you don't play Violet, but um, was brainstorming a potential um, uh, giveaway for like a follower goal. So like for my first 10 followers, um, one of them who plays Violet will randomly get selected for like a shiny Pikachu or something like that. Um, and if they don't play Violet, I could figure out how to get that random person. But um, I was just thinking about that just because uh, it'd be a fun little uh, uh, follower goal to do. <clears throat> and then eventually I'm going to also get my team that I can't get. So, okay, we just need to kill some Flabebes though. So we can't know more. So, we need to equip a... Sorry, focusing for a second. 
Is that again? Yes. Special defense. All right, Flay Babies, you are mine. And Incineroar, you will be completed. And this will be my first fully IV trained Pokemon. And I just need to Google how to uh, change the terror type, which I have plenty of shards, so I don't think that'll be a problem. Except Stellar. I don't know about Stellar. Oh, this is new. What if I just wanna... I don't remember this. Going to number one, I guess. <laughs> also, uh, Tyler, if you could tell me if my uh, lo fi is drowning out either the game volume or my voice, I'd really appreciate that. Because I did not do the smart thing and record myself prior to starting the stream, like I should have done, to make sure that my mixer was right, but. I just know that Pokemon can be one of those um, uh, kind of annoying uh, annoying to listen to games, especially during battles. So that's why I turned the background music off. Because it's kind of in your face. We're chill here. We're chill here. I should catch an iron bundle. I don't know if I have it already. But he is used very often that I've seen Metallic Deli Bird. <clears throat> oh! Did I just this? Nah, it's good? Cool. Iron Moth. Is that like Venomoth's paradise? Excuse me! I can't fight you either. Okay. No! Corviknight, get out of my face! I could destroy you. Why could a, like, almost level 80 Incineroar not... I just wanna run. Throw it away. Uh. Eh. Eh, get away. If your name's not Flabebe, I don't want it. Did you just levitate? I need to see if I have one of you while I'm here. I do. That's fine then. I thought I did. That is one of the moves that is most competitive. But Incineroar eats those for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And those. Yeah, you could really see where that extra HP and defense kind of comes in already. I mean, granted, it's level 50 something, but so. Where are the Flabebes? Right, we're taking out the Pokedex. I don't have to for this. Hold on. Update. Uh... Sorry, Floet, not Flabebe. Liars!
Anywhere above ground, outside of caves, and away from water. Near trees. Okay, so I'm supposedly in the right place. Also, I do also intend to be one of those streams that um, you can just kind of turn on in the background and just chill like, while you're working or hey, right you. Oh, 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 found one. These are what I'm trying to find. And it has been something I'm trying to find. So. Alright, so we're at 10 EVs now. What? Oh, it takes two? That's annoying. Oh, and I can only use fake out of the first move. I need to. I need to beat 14 of these things. I guess we flare blitz. I guess we flare blitz. So close. It's no, he's giving some XP, I guess. Oh! Good lord. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Yash. Okay. He pops. I wonder if it's the deeper you go, the more you'll find. I love these citrus berries. It's not supposed to be that way, though. No, no! See, these boys are attacking me because they ain't scared of no, no incineroar. They should be, though. Another thing too I'm um, thinking about is like what are the reasons I started streaming this because like obviously. Um I enjoy having streamers up like in the background because I think streaming is just such a good way to like help share information and knowledge. It's just another method to like tribal share, like share tribal knowledge I think is a good way to describe it of like Hey, I know things, I've had this experience, use this website, not this one. You know, I had a hard time finding Floets, so maybe you attack a different Pokemon. Um, you know, just kind of stuff like that. I find it kind of nice to do. So, but also just, um, you know, to, you know, Give somebody an entertainment value that's not filled with a ton of, well, at least for now, a ton of ads or whatever. You know, ads are a great way to support people, but it's different than TV, right? Because <clears throat> you can't communicate with your favorite TV characters, you know, the same way. That's why I think Netflix is going that route of, like, the interactive shows, because, like, I kind of miss that interaction sometimes, where, especially with smaller streamers, you heard you know, not even just anybody that's not a super big streamer <clears throat> where you have to pay money to see their, me like, for them to actually see your message and maybe respond to you. Um, I'm sure there are some big streamers that do it fine, but, you know, being able to actually interact with a streamer and ask them questions or help them in some cases too, like, you know, Yeah, what are you doing? 
that Raichu was going through it. He was like, huh? Anyway. Um, yeah, like, like, helping me, too, here, right? So, if one of you knows, like, hey, there's a better place to find Floets, you know? Like, I'm all ears, because I'm just following a website that I found online. I, I wouldn't say that they have their own agenda, but, you know, it's their experience, right? Whereas, you're, if somebody came to me and they're like, hey, make this sandwich, go to this place, and find 20 of them, boom. No. I have to find 12 more right now. I've only found three. So, we're a quarter of the way there, but I'm hoping to get lucky and find, like, a group of five, like it says I can. I'm just having trouble finding where those are, so... Uh, the sparkles are messing me up, because I can't tell if it's, like, sparkles for ground items, which I'm definitely missing some, or sparkles for, like, the terrain. I know three places to train certain specs that helps. Aha! See, where's this group of five? You know what I mean? Like, I'm about halfway through, but. Oh. I hope this doesn't kill him. Whoops. I just noticed his health and... He has good. <laughs> I was overwhelmed by my defeat. I'm pretty overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm pretty overwhelmed right now that I let that happen just now. Pretty overwhelmed. <sighs> I'm so close to. That full bay bay. Just beat it instantly. That was like almost like twice its level. No big deal. Okay, so this person said trees, trees, which makes sense. Flo Bebe is a you know, flowery type friend. Flowers, please. <clears throat> Deserved. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even see what it was. What did I get? What did I get? Fires. Ah! Ah! I found one! Ah, you're mine. I guess since the last one didn't count, now we're back to five. We need ten more. Oh, okay. Woo! 
I thought it was going to destroy me. I saw it was getting light, and then I'm like, I saw my life flash before my eyes. I mean, Cinderor would have eaten it, but still, I was like, I didn't know that flow, flowette or flow baby was built that way. I just don't want to go in the cave because I don't think they're in the cave. Some trees. Hey, look, Tyler, Flamigo. See? Ah! It wanted to uh, eat me. It wanted to kick me with his powerful legs. Dude, why are all the Raichus running into walls? What? What is their problem? Yes! Found one. He's with me. I bet you... Well, I don't know if... You'd have to look up if uh, PRO um, Revolution, if that, um, that has Flamigo or not. I don't know if it has like some Scarlet Pokemon yet. Wait, what? Oh, sweet. Another one. <clears throat> It'd be cool if they had an evolution for Flamigo. That's not what you'd call it, but it'd be cool. Ooh, a critical hit? That might hurt. That Iron Hands looks different. Did I find a shiny? No. It's just him sleeping. Wow! Way to tease me. Way to tease me. Now, if one of these was an Alolan Pikachu, I'd be like, come here. Get over here. I'm trying to find a way to get one, but I don't know that I can. I might be able to find a... Yeah, another Flamigo. Uh, might be able to find one in... Um, Pokemon Go, maybe. Transfer it over. Steven Izzo with his first ever points! Oh my gosh! I thought he shot some free throws before. Okay, so that tells me one of two things. Either it's... A great win, or it's a terrible loss when you see Steven Izzo's name. Because usually he's like garbage time, like. <clears throat> Where? Aha! I found you! I don't... I don't know if I kept good track. I think I need to do this again. Either way, I'll know in about six or seven more fights. It was an and one! Bebe gives one EV. Fouette gives two. Okay. Okay. Okay, not quite yet. Close. The only difference is one EV, but... Any flower-looking thing is... Right now. 
kind of like it's kind of unfortunate because all the EV training is killing cute things. That's kind of. I know what I can handle. Ooh, snow in my location. It has snowed enough for an entire year up where I live. Zoomerals, I think, work just fine. But these flababies and florets are not it, I don't think. <laughs> and study. It's okay. Ted uh, decided to come say hello. He thinks everybody's dying when somebody sneezes. So you'll sneeze. Uh oh, Magikarp's evolving. You're gonna be so far ahead of me, dude. You're gonna be through the Elite Four by the time I log in next. Yeah, my dog thinks you're dying when you sneeze. Son, I'm not fighting any of these things. <clears throat> it's kind of making me sad. Oh! Oh, baby, we hit the jackpot! <clears throat> I just had to say something. Get it? 
magic card. Oh, an Espeon! That's cool. Where are the other flowers? Oh, my arm feels better now. This is probably... Okay, this should kill it. Yeah, I'm definitely down for some, uh... PRO. Possibly on stream. Should be able to stream it. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. <laughs> Worst case, Nintendo goes after them and not me. Not like I'm big enough for them to care anyway. Oh no! Did I do it again? Alright, listen to me, kids. <clears throat> Always check your health when you're using a move like Takedown or Flare Blitz. I dropped 10 grand because I wasn't paying attention. Don't do as I do, do as I say. But, that means we're done. So it didn't matter. We're good. So, you know, what we get to do for the first time, this is a momentous occasion. Wait, hold on. Uh, who do we work on next? Probably somebody who's reset. Let's do Dragonite. We have our first fully completed EV trained, almost ready to go Pokemon in Incineroar. One out of six. So now, <clears throat> I might buy one of those bands and Goldango. Oh, yeah, D Knight needs more than that. Wait, Goldie and uh, Gold Goldie and D Knight need um, whatever. So I think I lied. I think I'm gonna go fly to. Let's go so quick. <coughs> and buy a second HP band because Goldie and D Knight need, um, they both need a same amount of HP so that I can, when I pop back on, I can, um, I can get them all set up with the same HP and kill two birds with one stone. That's so how it goes too, is if you have Pokemon in your party, and they're holding the item, they also get uh, EV points. So, I just have to double check the distributions to make sure that it's like... Um, what should I have? Oh, I should be able to buy that weak points. Um... <coughs> Yeah, all the Pokemon in your party with that item, the power band or whatever, also then get the same EV trains, at least a proportion of them. I have to look at the distributions again, like I said. And then, that way it'll be two for... Oh no, I need Delibird. Throughout the day, I'll probably grind some money for <clears throat> more power bands or items. But 
Honestly, this is, in my opinion, the easier way to train EVs if you don't, or EVs if you don't have, like, like, a ton of money. Like, a ton. Like, if you didn't save up a million Poké Dollars, then this is probably the better, faster way. Battle items? Negative. General goods. So yeah, these are 20k. <clears throat> these are expensive, but this, one of these will IV train a stack completely. So, if you get 36 of these, you have a fully IV trained team. So, really it's just a few grinds of the Ace Tournament for me. Because each win gets you roughly 2 to 3 of these. So... Basically, one trainer win gets you like almost a fully IV Pokemon. So. <coughs> Are we? Okay. Thank you. just fly out to where we need to go and then uh, right here and then we'll call it for a handful of hours so let's see what did we end up with today uh about two hours so grinding a couple hours in there so that helps i want to thank everybody for stopping in and tuning in uh you can do a lot of things with your time as I thought as I've gotten older, so I appreciate you spending your time with me. Hopefully I made it enjoyable for you. Hopefully it was chill. Hopefully it was relaxing. Um, and with that, uh, we're going to end the stream for now. Uh, probably be on again later tonight, though. So I just want to kind of make up for a little bit of yesterday that I missed out on. Um, trying to do like 7.30 to close to midnight, um, roughly tonight. And every Tuesday, Thursday, and... Uh, Fridays are kind of given hit or miss because I have a uh, men's hockey league that I play in. So it depends on the week for Fridays. But uh, that's the general schedule. So I should see y'all back at about 7.30. So thanks. Later.